so this is another Vanderpump Vanderpump rant to Brittany because a lot of people online have been having issues with you and how you're reacting to people when you understand and you know why this is happening. It's almost as if you feel that people should excuse what Jax does because you're a kind person. And even Jax to say, she's, you know, she's, Brittany's so kind. How could you do that to Brittany? But it's like, no one's intentionally hurting Brittany. No one intentionally hates Brittany. But because she is married to you, you and her are one. So your problems become her problems and her problems become your problems. The only reason why a lot of the people on the show are still cool with you because you married a good girl and they were like, you know what, she's really cool. And so they gave you a chance because they felt like if Brittany, who is a in generally a good person, saw that you, the mess that you are, is, you know, has good parts. And I believe that Jack has a lot of good parts. And I believe a lot of the shit he does is for the show. They were like, you know, maybe, you know, there's something there. So obviously this last episode, and I think this is the episode before the season finale. The season finale is next week. Jax had done a lot of rage test texting. He got mad at Max, who I don't like, got mad at Max and texted him all this crazy shit for cleaning up the beach and like he doesn't want to go. He then told Swartz like, hey, don't come. Don't come to my party. You need to be with your business partner. Don't come. And so at that time, everybody was kind of pissed off that Jax was rage testing people, being an asshole to people. And we know that Jax and Sandoval are never going to be cool because for some odd reason, Jax feels like Sandoval's taking the number one spot. Like I remember in other seasons, I swear, tell me if I'm wrong. If you're a fan of the show, you know, because I kind of know, but girl, um, but I remember Jax saying, I'm the number one guy in this group. And he was talking to Sandoval. He wasn't talking to Swartz because I don't think anybody feels threatened by Swartz because Swartz is like a kind, frumpy kind of guy. And so no one feels threatened by him. But you have Sandoval who's like cool and youthful and can make cocktails and all this great stuff. So there's kind of like this like, you know, situation where Jax feels like there's a competition there. And so I feel like from the beginning when the season started, which is almost 10 years ago, which time is flying, honey, flying, flickering, flown. Um... Jax always felt like, well, damn, Tom thinks he's better than me and he's not. And they were both models. It was like a whole situation. So that whole I want to be the number one guy has stuck with Jax, it seems like. And definitely for the show, it has stuck with Jax. So Jax on this episode, Rage, Rage Texas Max, freaks the fuck out. Then Rage Texas Sandoval. And then Swartz. So then you have all the new cast plus cast I hate that word you have all the new people plus you have Swartz and you have uh Sandoval and all of them are getting together at Ariana's house who doesn't have furniture I mean how many fucking times can you guys worry about Ariana not having fucking furniture like obviously you guys know they don't have furniture because before we saw the show you guys knew because they bought their house first so bitch everybody knew they didn't have furniture like stop hating on the hoe like let them live their lives like let them get their furniture when they want but anyway they all come to ariana and tom's house and they're like Jax is horrible he's doing these race texas and he's been doing this from the beginning and i'm pretty sure that they had known Jax, the original cast knew Jax, literally like i feel like two or three years before the show even started vander promos even started because they all worked at sir so they're like it's been like 10 years and Jax is still getting upset he's still rage texting and because no one's paying attention to him anymore due to the fact that his wedding is over and no one cares anymore. He's like needing attention and also needs to cause some drama for the show. Um, they're like, we're not going to deal with this bullshit. So Katie and Katie says she didn't about Katie. Boo, honey, Katie, you're manipulative. You're sweet. You're cute. You're okay. But you're manipulative as fudge, honey. Manipulative. Um, you were like, oh yeah, we should definitely do that. You didn't come up with the idea. I think it was the new, some of the new cast. I think it was like Max um, and Brett that came up with it. Or one of the some of the new cast members came up with the fact that you all, that Sandoval and that Ariana should have a pool party the same day as Jax has a pool party. Like, 
totally giving me eighth grade who's the baddest bitch in the town eighth grade birthday party I'm gonna have my party of the day that you have your party because I hate you type of vibes so I think like the new cast members kind of came up with the idea and then Katie was like it makes my panties wet because I'm so excited that we get to do this because he deserves it and she was really only upset because of the way Jax was texting Swartz so she was like yes so everybody at Cineval Ariana House that doesn't have any furniture <laughs> let me stop decides that they're that it's oh, that they're gonna have a pool party the same day as Jax so from Brittany's standpoint she's like why would you guys have a party the same day as Jax and I are having a party and apparently it seems like you know it really does seem like um that Britney loves to entertain like all the girls do but Britney like she said this is like she loves to entertain she loves to clean like she loves to host and she's saying that they've always had parties so why all of a sudden would Sandoval decide to have a party the same day so this is hurting her feelings because she feels like you guys are my friends and just because Jack's you know was horrible doesn't mean that you guys have to isolate us and like make a competition between parties and that's why she was really feeling upset because she was like, how can they do that to me when we're cool? We know each other. We love each other. All of us as a friend group and Jax flips out and then you guys overreact. And she was saying like, hey, you guys have been overreacting when it comes to Jax forever. Like Jax has always been an asshole is what she was trying to say. He's always been an asshole since you guys met him. And now you guys want to overreact and throw an extra another a party the same day and not just affect me but it, not just affect Jax but affect me so she was pissed the fuck off because she felt like like Jax has always been Jax he's always been an ass so why overreact now and due to her anger she kind of flipped out on Katie and was just kind of like pretty much Katie, you've rage texted before, you've acted crazy before, and people have forgiven you, so you should forgive Jax. And Brittany's kind of right. Like, Katie, you've had some fucking tor terrible moments on this show. Not horrible, horrible like Saucy, but you've had some moments that were very questionable because you were drunk and insane. So you do have to at least kind of think like, hey, you know what? Jax was like that. Mm, I can't be really judgmental. It's like a throwing a rock. Like, it's kind of like looking at a glass house. Like, you've rage texted before Katie, uh, Katie too as well as you know so why would you get upset but I think it was not just Katie I think every a lot of the cast members are tired of Jax doing his shtick it's interesting for the show but a person that's probably always around it gets tired they probably get tired of Jax randomly being inappropriate with text randomly freaking out randomly having issues with people just for the show and he's been doing that forever. And then he would apologize and say, I'm so messed up. I'm so messed up. I'm so, I'm such a horrible person. Get attention for it. People forgive him. And then he does it again. Jackson in this mood where he's at a midlife crisis because he has everything he wanted. He got, he wanted wealth. He has a stable life now. He wanted a wife. He has a wife. He wanted a home. He has a home. He's in businesses. He has businesses. So everything that he had wanted, he's achieved. And so he's bored now. He's like, what do I do? Hmm. So he freaks the fuck out. And it, and it works for the show. And it's entertaining. But for the person that's receiving it, it's exhausting. So pretty much this whole episode, it was like one per party versus another party. And Brittany flipping the fuck out. I feel like the pool parties, like making revenge pool parties was petty, but it was somewhat entertaining because there has not been any entertainment, honey, nothing. Um, and I feel like Jax, like manically posting about the gym that he was working for, which I feel like he was getting paid to promote on the show, honey, <laughs> do a promotion, um, was interesting and funny because it's like he's really going out insane. But in reality, I don't think that they should have had the party like they should have just come and like dealt with Jax. But I guess people are like, I'm tired of dealing with Jax. He's not the main person in the group. We're tired of him. Brittany, should she have did what she did and cried? No. Like Brittany, you should have never texted Katie and said, well, you were, you did this because throwing people, exposing people in their face 
to compare it to another person never works because it's like you're shaming them to make them want to come. So I think you overreacted as far as texting Katie and kind of saying you should forgive Jax because Jax did this and this and this. That was overreacting 110%. I would have to tell you that is overreacting. Um, but I do get you. You shouldn't have to pay for what Jax does. But unfortunately, you married this man. You married him because you love him. And you, you know, that's what that's what you did. You know, he cheated on you. You stayed. I don't know if you stayed for the show and for publicity and for love, but you stayed. And to the day you die, even when you get off the show, Jax will still do things that are somewhat a little off. He will until he truly gets therapy and then actually truly works towards bettering himself. He will always have little bitty issues. It's just going to happen. So you can't get mad that that's who he is. He's going to always be in this nature until he's ready to change. And he has to have his own internal motivation. So you have to learn how to suck it up and just know that this is the man that you chose to marry. He's going to say things that are off center. He's going to do things that are suspicious sometimes. He's going to do that. And I don't think anybody wants to hurt you, but I think you're associated with him. So because you're associated with Jax, you're going to continue to deal with what comes with it. You just have to know as a wife, how do you handle this? And how do you still make sure that you're internally okay when he acts fucking crazy? Because he's going to keep on acting out. He's going to keep on saying things. How are you going to handle it? And that's the truth. But that was this week's episode of Vanderpump Rules. We have one more episode next week. Um, if you saw my first video, I explained why I hate Vanderpump Rules this season because it was fucking annoying as fuck. But um, this episode to me was interesting-ish because of the fact that Jax was who he was and people were flipping out. But we'll see the last episode of the season. And I think they're having a quarantine reunion, virtual reunion. So that should be interesting. But thank you for watching and tell me what you think about this show. Like, do you like this season? Do you hate this season? Are you just like, I'm watching it because I'm a fan and it is what it is. Or hey, I'm just watching it because I'm bored at home, stuck, quarantining, teening. But yeah, let me know.